Hey guys, thank you for coming to look at this video. To look at this video. Hang on, I'm starting again. Hi guys, thanks for coming to check out this video where I am about to create my art on cue piece or my draw with me piece that is themed around a prompt word that you guys have given me. And I got a few great requests in the comment section or the community tab. And the one I've decided to go with is the word ice, which seems fairly obvious for Iceland, but it just, you know, it sparked some interest. So I'm going to create an art piece based on that word. And before I get started, I'm going to choose the choices for next month's bullet journal series, which is going to be for November. I can't believe that. So two more left of the year. So let's get started on the choices. Now this first um, option is going to be countries that are over 30 million in population. All right, so rustling around, I have one, I have one. And we have Malaysia. I think Malaysia would be really cool to explore. Um, a lot of color I see, definitely would be keen to go through that country. Now we've got the next choice, which are the populations 30 million and beneath, and beneath eight, um, above eight million, sorry and it is Sri Lanka. Sri Lanka would be awesome. I don't know much about it at all. I know it would be sunny. That would be very cool to explore. And then our last country is going to be, these are the populations beneath 8 million. And I'm going to rustle it around. Our lucky last little guy is El Salvador. <laughs> um, that would be awesome. I know nothing about El Salvador. Um, I feel like they're all very warm countries, which might be nice for us. Down here in Australia, we're about to go into summer anyway, so it might be cool to get some summer vibes happening after being in Iceland. Uh, so we've got Malaysia, Sri Lanka, or El Salvador. Leave your votes down in the comments after you've watched this video, and thank you for watching. Let's get started on the piece. We we watch the sun go down over the same old town Like so many times before we Look at the same old stars, battle the same old wars Like so many times before And I know that we're not perfect But I'm gonna miss all that we had Yeah, I know that we're not perfect But I need this night so if you have seen these kind of videos that I do before, you will know that I am working my way through a series of sort of women in inspired ideas from the country that I'm exploring, if that makes any sense. So each month I have had a prompt word that I design a female character around with what she's doing or what she's wearing or something like that. And I've been really enjoying the series and I've been trying to tie in a little bit of Art Nouveau style as well. This one is probably the least Art Nouveau, I think, so far, because I decided to go for um, the word ice, which to me immediately says sharp shards of ice. So I've definitely gone for more of a triangular and quite harsh sort of layout this time, but I think it definitely works with the character and, and, and with the whole concept behind it being ice. So first things first, I did start with my drawing. I wanted to get a female reference photo to work from. I do like to work from references. And what I do like to do as well is try and find someone from that particular country. So I did search up um, Iceland models and one model that came up that I found very striking was a woman called Tina Bergs. I think that's how you pronounce it. Could be Tina, but I'm pretty sure it's Tina. Uh, if you do know for sure, let me know down in the comments. But yeah, so Tina is a very attractive girl, very slender, and she kind of made me think that I wanted to turn her into an elf because one thing that I found really fascinating throughout the Iceland setup was the belief that Icelanders have in elves and all the folklore and true faith that is very prevalent across the country. So I think I mentioned in the bullet journal video that these are called the Hildefolk and that means hidden people and they are elves that they believe live amongst them but in a parallel 
world. So they're hidden from our eyes, but they're living amongst us and they look like people. They look like humans, but they just have pointed ears and they're very slender. So I thought it would be cool. And especially when I thought of ice, I just went to, I don't know, I, I guess it's kind of Lord of the Ringsy, but just I sort of went to that ice, icicles, earrings and tiaras and just kind of wanted to draw an elf that was perhaps like a frozen princess elf lady. <laughs> So once I knew I wanted to turn Tinna into an elf, I just sourced a photo that was in the right position that I thought would work with the composition of my piece. And I knew that I wanted an ear to be quite obvious in there. So I found one and turned her ear into a pointed ear and then altered her hair to be quite Art Nouveau-like um, where they really section off the pieces of hair and make individual strands quite quite shown so that's how I interpret the Art Nouveau style into my work and then I put a nice piece of like a diamond icicle on her head in a tiara and then yeah and then changed the earrings into big icicle triangles so that's where I'm coming from that's where my mind was working from and then the next pieces just fell into place. So I was also really interested in the garment that they have in Iceland, a very famous garment called a Lopapesa, which is made from Icelandic sheep's wool. And it's extremely warm and it always has this design that goes around the neck and shoulders in lots of different patterns. And it's really quite beautiful. And I think definitely if I was to go to Iceland, I would want to purchase one of these beautiful sweaters. I'm deliberately saying sweaters because I tend to say jumper and I don't know, it doesn't make any sense. I just thought of the joke that Australians have and I have to tell you right now. What do you get when you cross a kangaroo and a sheep? Wait for it. A woolly jumper. See? <laughs> Hilarious stuff here. Um, anyway, back to the drawing. I am using a new pen that I bought recently. It's actually a Pentel sign brush and I was looking for the pocket brush at Officeworks and I came across this and I'd never seen them before. They are, there's several multiple colors. Um, I bought three or four, I think, and this was the blue and I just fell in love with this one. It's a really electric blue. Um, and I just loved it and I thought with this piece I knew I wanted to do it in monochrome again like my um, bullet journal setup this month and I thought it would be really cool to try and do the line art in the electric blue so this is one of the first times I've used a brush pen to do my line art but I loved it and the color was just perfect for the piece I'm really really stoked with this blue line art so I definitely feel I'll be doing more colored line art in the future so once I knew that I wanted to put her in a Lopa Pesa, I then thought that was an ideal place to put some pattern because I knew that there was not going to be a lot of my usual Art Nouveau delicate line work and little patterns everywhere. So I thought I would keep the patterns contained just to that neck of the Lopa Pesa. So that's why that is central on the piece. So, um, and then I thought that rather than just having her simply put onto the page, I would like to break it up a little bit like the Omnom logo that I also included in my bullet journal setup. Um, it's got these shards in the wolf um, of their logo and it's like lots of triangles breaking up the image. So I thought that was a cool idea and I'd try it here. So I've kind of broken the image up into triangle bits, which I'm picturing as shards of ice. And yeah, the whole piece is kind of starting to reflect that cool, icy, princessy vibe to me. Um, and then the blue is really speaking retro vibes to me. I mean, obviously the hair is adding to that. Um, the way I've done the hair makes it look really, um, like I'm really sorry, Tina, but it kind of looks a little bit mullety. Um, and I think it looks really cool though. It's like that very retro hipster kind of girl. Um, so I'm happy with that. And I love the retro look that I've got in the end with this electric blue. Once I had all the line work down and as I'm building up the piece, I wanted to add a little bit more depth and dimension to the features of her face and hands and stuff. So I do like to add a little bit of hatching. I use the hatching technique, which is just a lot of lines positioned where a shadow would be. So I'm just using the lines and I'm kind of keeping them nice and tight together. If I want a firm shadow, if I want a softer shadow, I'll kind of put the lines a little bit further apart. And it just gives that illusion of shape and depth there and shadow. So that definitely helps in these illustrations where I don't use any shading technically. 
um, and I'm using my Pigma Micron in a royal blue, I think it's royal blue, to go with this piece. I do wish it was slightly more electric blue to go with it, but it wasn't too bad. It didn't throw me off or anything. And then once my line work was all done and I had filled in as much contrasted bits in those shards that I wanted to with the electric blue pen, I decided to go in with a little bit of gouache. So normally I do watercolor for these, um, but I just used my gouache pretty much as a watercolor. So I just used quite a bit of water mixed with the gouache. And it is my Holbein gouache in the color Ultramarine Deep. So it was the absolute perfect color for this. So I didn't need to mix it in with anything. And then that just gave me some sort of like soft watercolor effects in the shards of ice. So I tried to add it in lines, kind of giving a little bit of, what could you call it? Like where they've been cut through, like a diamond being cut. That was the, that was the concept behind it. That's my theory. In practice, it didn't really look anything like that, but I am happy with the effect that came out anyway. Now, I'm not sure if you have seen anything previously that I've spoken about, but I have recently designed my own set of washi tape through the washi tape shop and I'm using it in this drawing to stick it down to the desk and I'm super happy with how they turned out. So I'll just give you a little sneak peek of how they turned out. I'll show you the five washi tapes all inspired by different countries. I will do a proper launch video I think for these coming up either on my Instagram um, and on here on YouTube but I'm just very excited to see them in the flesh and all the gold on it is just beautiful and I'm yeah really proud of them so there is a link down in the description box if you wanted to purchase any for yourself or anything from the washi tape shop. If you use the link down below or my code Torrin10 you will get 10% off of your purchases. So I hope you like them and I will yeah, show you more in depth of what they're like and how they look in artworks coming soon in the future weeks. So now back to the drawing. I once have laid in the gouache in those triangles, I just let it dry and I have digitized this. If you would like to own this piece, um, I do have it available as a digital download from my sh online shop. And then this artwork will also be going as a bonus to my Voyager patrons this month, um, who along with my adventurers and wanderers really help me to keep my channel going. Um, their support through the subscriptions on Patreon keep this alive and be able to do what I do. So I really, really thank you guys so much for the support. And if anyone else would like to contribute and help me to keep this boat going, um, the link is down in the description box. Every little bit of support does help me immensely. And thank you to my latest patrons who are Britta M, Tori H, Bien C, Anne-Marie F, Yael S, Fatma A, Patricia S, Emma S, Erica M, Sandra S, Jessica M, Kendra M, Renee B, Hilary, and Teresa S. Thank you all so much and to all my patrons and to you guys all out there watching this video. Thank you so much for being here. I hope you enjoyed this draw with me. Uh, it was quite chatty and I hope that didn't bother you at all. And I will see you in the next one. Thanks guys. Bye.